Hello, Guy Solis here, Gentleman's Edge here in Denver, Colorado. <clears throat> Good afternoon to everybody. Today I'm going to do kind of a special shave for me and I'm going to be using my Nathan Clark uh, two band badger brush, premium badger brush given to me by my good friend Abraham in California and today I'm going to be using, uh, well I was going to use, since it's a warm day out there I was going to use Katie's Bubbles Mile High Menthol and I really wanted to try the sample I got of the uh, Soap Commander's Renewal and I said you know look at me I'm a Schaefer well uh, I'm kind of been taking a little bit of a break from the honing because I have to shave to make sure everything is cool and I got my face kind of beat up by that and an injector blade so today I'm going to use the soothing and the wonderful kiss my face uh, <clears throat> moisture shave <clears throat> excuse me cool mint so this is what I'm doing today I already got the noxema on my face and as per instructions by Mr. Rena, I'm going to add a little bit of about an almond size to my bowl and a little bit of water and just whip this up. So I ran into a guy <coughs> who uh, has been collecting straight razors for a long, long time. No big whoop, right? Well, the big deal is that he doesn't shave with a straight razor. And he took really good care of the ones that he does have. And I have had the opportunity to buy some. So I went through his first hundred. Yes, I did say first hundred. So I went through his first hundred. Uh, and I pulled out three excellent razors. One of them I'm going to shave with today. I honed them all up yesterday and they are nice. Uh, it's a big difference between uh, honing a razor that is just, you know, kind of junky, spines kind of messed up a little bit, and honing a, a vintage razor that is in great condition. I mean, these razors are phenomenal and I'm not going to show them until I'm done with them but this one here Nice lather, man. Feels good, smells good. Don't taste so good. Seven eighths. This thing has a perfect, nice, neat little narrow edge on it. Maiden Voyage.
eraser. Shapes like a dream. All three of them had edges like this too. Excellent shaver. It is some good lather. It does stick on your uh, razor, razor a little bit, but uh, boy, I needed this shave. really needed this shave. Kind of a shave to me anyway. And I know it's a lot of people. <clears throat> Helps get your head straight. Makes you feel good. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just knowing you have a nice cleanly shaved face that makes you feel alright in this harsh old world. And sometimes I watch newscasters and they get this head and neck full of stubble and I just <laughs> I'm surprised when we don't say something to them and don't get me wrong some guys could wear it well see a little scar tissue right here coming up some guys can wear it well but other guys I don't know. Kind of look like hobos to me. So, let's see if I can get a second lather out of this. I think I will. Look at that. I mean, it's just a little almond size spot. Sometime soon, I'm going to do a video on a interesting soap I found up in Idaho Springs, Colorado, uh, uh, last what was it? Saturday, a couple days ago. Uh, this is uh, interesting. It has five different oils in it, and I'm not sure how that's going to be, but. Uh, I got contacted by the people in Colorado from uh, a soap maker called the uh, 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 Rays of Colorado.
This is how a razor is supposed to shave. This thing shaves better than my Philharmonica. So what's that say? This double duck, which is probably older, I haven't been able to find a date on, uh, on it in my research, has been kept in pristine condition. Now it came out for some abuse. <laughs> so the soap maker The Rays of Colorado were telling me to bloom the puck for a like half hour, which I already did. Uh, and he said he was going to make his own video and tell me how to do it, show me how to do it. My hard spot right there. I don't go very much hair there, so I'm just going to kind of cheat, especially when I got that point, you know what I mean? No reason to walk around like the cat claw the shit out of you. Next time you see this razor, it's going to have the most bitchin' scales you'll ever see. And if anybody knows me, they know that I'm not lying. Oh, that... This soap is just so soothing. I think every guy should have it. In their den. Because if you, if you have a job where you have to shave every day. By the fourth and the fifth day of the week. Your face gets a little bit raw. This stuff right here will take care of you really really gentle and it, it gives it gives something back to your skin it's not just gentle but the lather is great it's got great slickness you know here's my third pass I mean I just put the size a little couple little drops the size of an almond uh, and look how much soap I can get ready for my third pass without a, any hesitation Feels good.
that soap right there feels better than any soap I've ever tried as far as as uh, putting it on letting it sit there in your face like I am right now and then afterwards it just this is really really a nice gentle soap Feels good. There's that little scar head. Forgot to avoid it. love this razor. <clears throat> this is the best razor I've ever had. I'd cut myself there. Because I'm shaving. Kind of funky. <clears throat> you know what? <clears throat> I'm so excited about this shave. I'm going to try Fool's Pass. Not bad. I'll tell you what, last month in July, I honed 62 straight razors and done, let me say, five or six scales, maybe more, I can't remember. Uh, and that's a lot. Uh, I'm getting a lot busier. But what I'm saying is that 62 times I've had a, a different razor on my face. And this razor here is the most superior. And that includes my own razors. You know? Nothing can beat a good razor. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to scale up this one and a couple others. Uh, it's hard to do because I'm still busy and I'm going to scale up these racers. I'm going to show them to you. And if you want to buy one, then you can. <clears throat> if you're worried about the razor or the honing, I have a guarantee. But like I said, these razors that I picked out are probably the best vintage razors I have ever seen. And they've honed 
so easy, so nice. And I looked at that edge. I don't know what happened to the edges on, on them, but they were all kind of really jaggedy. So I had to set the bevel, and then I had to uh, uh, you know, you know what it takes. Uh, very nice razors. Very, 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 very nice razors. So, uh, I think what I'm going to finish off with is some, let's see, I want to do some witch hazel. Ah, what the hell, let's use a rose today, huh? I bought the rose and I gave it to my wife because it smelled like I shouldn't be wearing it. I bought the uh, cucumber. When no one's looking, I go for the rose. <laughs> so, uh, so this chair is squeaky. Can you hear it? I need to fix it. That is distracting. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. This was a cool mint, so I'll kind of stay within the same thing. This is a uh, citrus. Uh, aroma. So I'm going to put a double dose on that see if I hear any talking. <laughs> Nothing. Except right here I cut myself. And right there where I cut myself. So also in the works is I'm working on a new logo. My buddy uh, Abraham it's helped me with uh, with a logo. I was trying to do some uh, hand drawn lettering in a banner, and I just I'm just too shaky. I don't know if I drink too much coffee or I'm getting old. But I know there was a time when I was young that I could do all that, and I have done all that sort of stuff. But uh, he's helped me with with my logo. I'm going to put that on a uh, t-shirt, and I got some really good ideas for the back of that t-shirt. Um, and uh, and also for cards and whatever else. But uh, anyway, this here is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge. Very pleased with my new Double Duck 7-8s. Uh, satin Edge. It says Satin Edge on one side. Another side it says Pearl Duck in uh, gold letters. As you can see, that's a beautiful, beautiful razor. Beautiful razor. The spine is, is just surprisingly intact, but the scales, they got to go. I want to do this thing some justice. Anyway, y'all take care, and remember, every day is a good day for a shave. So take care, okay? All right, bye.